Audio Jungle. Fine. Now, <coughs> problem. What is the problem? Check. Write it. An aircraft An aircraft weighing 160 kilo Newton one sixty kilo Newton one sixty kilo Newton has has a wing area of forty two meter square at at a flight speed of hundred meter per second the engine gives a thrust of First of twenty seven kilo Newton its drag polar equation is what is the drag polar equation? C D is equal to 0 0.014 plus 0 0.05 cl square find find option uh, not option question one what is the question <coughs> rate of climb climb and angle of climb at 100 meter per second at sea level at sea level sl for sea level question number one Question number two. Need to calculate what you can uh, calculate. You can calculate the maximum. or uh, maximum climbing maximum climbing angle conditions or parameters at sea level so <coughs> this is the thing question like they can make like this no? or they can ask the condition or parameters they are asking suppose what is the maximum climbing angle parameters so we can calculate easily yes or no now <coughs> we'll solve this question check 
so what they have given first i will write what they have given quantity aircraft weighing means w 160 kilo newton wing area s 42 meter square flight speed v infinity they have given 100 meter per second hmm? and uh, crash table level they have given how much 27 kilo newton yes or no drag polar they have given to us what is the drag polar they have given cd is equal to 0.014 plus now you will go for the calculation of first rate of climb and angle of climb at 100 meter per second so see the aircraft is what flying flying in the sense it is uh, you can say it is climbing and that climbing angle is what theta this aircraft is what flying with v infinity which is given 100 meter per second in the problem itself they have given a uh, flight speed they have given how much 100 meter per second so <coughs> you draw the diagram based on that we have to check that force balancing and all so if you do the force balancing so what you will get uh, you we will get uh, that uh, again i'm just going to do but you need to practice this is what theta so this will be theta okay so this is nothing but w cos theta this is nothing but lift this is nothing but thrust this is drag and w sin theta will come this side so what you will get l is equal to w cos theta and drag plus so check the equation you will get d minus uh no t minus d sorry you need to remember the formula okay so check you will get t a minus uh, d divided by w is equal to sin theta so if you calculate theta means first climbing angle sin theta t a minus d divided by weight so what is the theta climb angle first you are going to calculate climb angle it is nothing but we need to calculate it yes or no so <clears throat> everything they have given thrust available they have given weight they have but drag they have not given how to calculate drag you can consider that uh, climbing angle and all it is very small okay whatever the value will see but to get solution compromise you have to do what is that what is that you have to assume that condition what is the condition lift is equal to weight thrust is equal to drag yes or no lift is equal to weight thrust is equal to drag so for that only what uh, calculation you do you write you can write here drag is equal to what you can write w into td by cm that you can do here no problem okay so if you do that 
हाँ राइट इफ यू डू दैट देन हाउ टू गेट सी डी एंड सी एल सिंपल वट इज द सी एल अगेन यू कैन राइट टू डब्ल्यू डिवाइड बाई रो एस बी स्क्वायर दैट यू कैन डू you can ask like that aircraft is not uh, flying at uh, level altitude i mean level flight is not there so custom will come that is true for that reason i told you in, you know sometimes it happens to like uh, if that angle and all is very small like climbing okay uh, if i say climbing angle is what theta theta is what just say 6 degree so what is the cos 6 can you tell me immediately can you tell me cos 6 it is 0.99 na cos 6 degree is nothing but 0.99 so if you write w cos theta sorry w cos theta because this is the climbing flight right so in climbing flight directly w will not come what will come it will come w cos theta because l is equal to w cos theta yes or no but unnecessarily this unknown term will come because you are going to calculate theta you don't have theta but if you are writing this then again it will give complication to you because theta you are going to calculate right so so sometimes because this cos if you if climbing angle is what 6 degree you don't know you have to calculate but suppose climbing angle is what 6 degree so cos 6 is what 0.99 i mean in magnitude it will not give much more difference so for that reason uh, for calculation purpose you can adjust i mean you can compromise with the data okay you can compromise with the with the data that's the my point here i wanted to tell you so 2w because question can arise like you can say sir l is equal to w not possible because if you write l is equal to w then it will be level flight and we are uh, talking here about the climbing flight so how l is equal to w you are right if you say question if you ask question like this but i told you climbing angle is what very less like less than 12 degree or ha ah, yes less than 12 degree so you can neglect that no doubt but in question in an exam suppose they are asking climbing angle so that, that you can not uh, ignore because they are asking to you whatever it is you are getting 6 degree or 7 degree you have to answer it you don't say like no sir has told like less than 12 degree climbing angle can ignore so what you will write in uh, exam ha ah, if question they are asking what is the climb So it doesn't matter if they are the climbing angle you are getting in calculation two degree, three degree, four degree. It's okay. You have to give the answer. But to get that climbing angle, if you are going to proceed calculation and in calculation somewhere adjustment like l is equal to w or something, then you can adjust that. That will not give big difference. That is my point. Okay. So here, like you can adjust. Don't write w cos theta. Otherwise, theta will be unknown. And C L is a known, theta is a known. Then how you can proceed the problem? You cannot proceed. So that time theta you can say it is very small. So cos uh, theta will be approximate to one. So W cos theta will be now W only. Okay, that is the one thing. Now you can proceed it. So W is what? How much it is given? It is given. I think one sixty kilo newton, right? So you write it one sixty kilo newton. One sixty ten power three divided by it is sea level so sea level density is 1.2 and area they have given to you how much 42 42 they have given area so you write it and velocity they have given 100 meter proceed it so if you do this then you may get i think cl you may get 0.62 approximate 2 into 160 ten to power three two into 160 ten to power three divided by 1.22 divided by 42 divided by 100 square. So it's like point six six two four. So here it will be point six two four. Okay. now if you go for the cd so you got your answer cd is nothing but what it is 0.014 plus 0.05 cl square 0.014 plus 0.05 cl square if you keep the data cl value 
then CD approximate you may get how much PL if you are writing into 0 0.05 0 .05 plus 0 0.014. Okay, we are getting point zero three three. Yeah. Check everybody. Check everybody. Zero point six two square into zero point zero five plus zero point zero one four. Zero point zero five. This is the CD. Now you can calculate drag. What is the drag? W into how much? Check. W C D C L W C D by C. So if you do that, what is the weight you got? 160. Answer into 160 10 to power 3 divided by C L. How much C L you got? 0 0.62. So it's nearby 8.5. Seven two newton. You may get this. Now you can calculate theta. What is the theta? It is sine inverse T A minus B divided by what is the T A thrust available? It is twenty seven ten four three twenty seven newton drag you have calculated at five. 72.9 what is the weight so if you do that theta so you may get how much check it how much you are getting this how oh, fine how much you are getting check everybody so 27 10 to power 3 minus this divided by 160 okay. it is 6.6 and i told you approximately so this is the climbing this is the answer okay. and you remember theta less than 12 degree can neglect in calculation okay in calculation but if they are asking then you cannot neglect you cannot say no no it is neglectable negligible huh? but in calculation if it is required if less than 12 degree you can neglect huh? just like here you have neglected no? it should be cos theta but you have said this is very small so neglected huh? in calculation to go for calculation to get the data you can neglect that part all right right so this one is clear now in the problem what they have asked next check uh, rate of climb and uh, angle of climb is then rate of climb what is the rate of climb check now next is nothing but rate of climb so rate of climb is nothing but vc this is the rate of climb check. This is the rate of climb. This is theta. This is V infinity. So, what is the VC? VC is nothing but V infinity sine theta. What is the V infinity 100? What is the sine theta sine? Theta is nothing but 6.6. It is 6.6. .6. So you calculate this is nothing but VC. So eleven point five. This is the rate of climb, means vertical velocity in upward direction. Okay parameters 
for maximum climbing angle we calculate clmd this is the condition because maximum climbing angle means minimum drag condition so clmd can calculate cd not by k okay that you can calculate what is the cd not by k 0 0.014 divided by 0 0.05 take root of it so we may get 0.529 what is the cdmd these are the parameters for maximum climbing angle 2 cd not means 2 cd not means what 0 0.028 third vmd now you can write if you want you can write root of loop cos theta rho s clmd so these are the parameters for maximum climbing angle yes or no <coughs> all right calculate this This is what you will get. Cos six point six into two into one sixty ten to power three divided by rho one point two two divided by S, which is nothing but forty two. Do by your own there and CLMD just now you have calculated how much point five two nine. 0.529 so this is the vmd this is vmd 108.29 meter per second vmd check now third what is the another parameter it is nothing but emd Theta max 6.65. We will calculate that EMD. Okay. What is EMD? L by D max, or we can write CLMD by CDMD. How much CLMD is? CLMD is 0 0.529. 0 0.529 divided by 0 0.028. It is 18.89. This is the aerodynamic equation. Yes or no? All right. Now, then fine. Here you want to calculate maximum climbing angle. How to do? maximum climbing angle you are going to calculate so maximum climbing angle how to calculate that check theta is equal to what sine inverse p a minus p e divided by w if you are saying maximum climbing angle so this should be made what is the d mean minimum drag you can calculate in this way what is the formula you have here uh, that formula cd by cl yeah? so you can write w into cdmd by clmd 160 10 to power 3 what is the CDMD? 0 0.028. What is the CLMD? 0 0.529. 0 0.529. If you do D mean, you will get how much? 0 0.028 divided by 0 0.529 
into into one sixty one sixty ten power three. It's a uh, eight four six eight point eight newton. Now you can write the data. So what is the theta max? You can write T A minus D min by W. What is the thrust available? It is I remember twenty seven kilo newton means one two seven ten power minus three uh, ten power three eight eight four six eight eight four six eight. So this you have to sign inward. Sorry. Calculate this theta max. So twenty seven ten power three minus eight four six eight eight four six eight divided by one sixty divided by ten power. It's a sign inward zero point one one five. What is the theta max to take inverse of it? It is six point six five degree. Okay, that is the maximum uh, climbing angle. Okay, ah, uh, now this is the one thing. <clears throat> this type of question they can ask to you so so for that you should answer okay there should not be any and uh, now if you want to calculate like what is the maximum velocity uh, climbing velocity then you can use this maximum climbing angle sin theta max multiplied by v infinity so you will get maximum climbing speed so such type of question they can ask to you so you have to answer okay now very special condition i am going to explain okay now we just give a heading so all right <clears throat> maximum rate of climb for jet engine airplane give a heading maximum climbing you angle you have seen maximum now you are going to see maximum rate of climb means you are talking about vc i so first we will talk about jet engine first we will talk about jet engine okay <coughs> in case of jet engine if you check what is the vc it was v infinity sin theta what was that ta minus d by w this was the value yes or no what is the v infinity it is nothing but 2w divided by rho scl agree In bracket, T A minus T divided by W. Okay. Or, or you can write two W divided by rho S. That you can do. T will take in numerator. So what you will get? You will get you will get first by weight T L to power minus one by two minus Drag by weight. Simple, ah, simple only. You check it, please. Yes or no? So, if you want, we see again. I will write this. So, two W divided by rho S. 
in bracket what you got thrust by uh, thrust available by weight cl to power minus 1 by 2 minus drag by weight cl to power minus 1 by 2. this we got agree okay now if i say this is 2w by rho s is what constant so i can write approximate uh, directly proportional because this is the constant so i can write t a w okay this is the value so if i say for vc maximum can i say this whole term derivative of this whole term d upon what is the variable cl na? so dcl whole bracket what is that ta by w cl to power minus 1 by 2 drag okay and this drag what you can write can you write this drag okay uh, one more step i will uh, reduce better no? what is this d by w check this d by w is nothing but d you can write cd w you can write cl i mean dra drag by lift you can write lift you can write cl and drag you can write cd yes or no so what is that cd you can write cd is nothing but cd naught plus kcl square divided by cl in denominator we have cl now in numerator minus 1 by 2 it will come down so it will be 3 by 2 and this differentiation must be 0 then you will get maximum vc this is the simple calculation only nothing is tough many times we have seen minimization and maximization of the function so what do you have to perform you have to perform this derivative and make it equal to 0 so i told you you have to do by your own okay but i will give the final result to you I will give final result so you need to remember okay you need to remember this because that derivation is not important at all as I as I told you already so but I have told the steps if you are interested you can go for the complete derivation otherwise directly you can write if you dip, differentiate with respect to CL and make it equal to zero then one result you will get what result you will get I need to write here wait so this result will be because so this result will be kcl square plus cl minus Please make it in one bracket. This is the result you will get after differentiating this. After differenti differentiation of this function, you will get this result. So, this is the condition. This is the condition for maximum rate of climb maximum rate of climb okay for jet engine remember this this is very very important in gate they have asked question based on it hope you understood this hope you understood this this should be very clear to all this is the condition of maximum rate of climb or maximum climbing angle for jet engine only it is not valid for propeller driven engine it is valid only for jet engine okay hope you understood this sure now <coughs> now we'll write one numerical so it will be clear to you problem What is the problem we write? Estimate the
maximum rate of climb and corresponding corresponding flight speed flight speed and angle of climb okay if the thrust available means ta is 27 kilo newton at all speed mean they are saying thrust is constant weight of airplane is 160 kilo newton and wing area is 42 meter square the dracular equation is is td is equal to 0.0, .0 one four plus zero point zero five real square yes or no right what they have given they have given <coughs> ta they have given to us twenty seven kilo newton weight 160 kilo newton area they have given to us 42 meter square and drag polar they have given to us 0 0.014 plus 0 0.05 real square this data they have given to us what they are asking calculate what they are saying first you calculate vc max no vc max check maximum rate of climb and corresponding flight speed so what will be the correct corresponding flies flight speed corresponding flight speed is nothing but v infinity but but for what for vc max for vc max no? and angle of climb also you have to calculate for this theta also you have calculate but what is the condition vc max for vc max condition you have to calculate theta and you have to calculate uh, this uh, theta max uh, theta at vc max and flight speed means wind 20 at vc max they are asking this is the question okay so <coughs> this is what jet engine they had said jet engine because thrust available they have given jet engine what is the condition condition for vc max is what it is very clear it is nothing but kcl square kcl square plus first by weight cl minus three cd naught this is the condition yes or no now check all the data they have given to us so can we calculate here cl yes we can calculate see k what they have given k in the problem see this is what this is the k and this is what cd naught k is nothing but 0 0.05 so we can write 0 0.05 cl square plus first is 27 means 27 kilo newton divided by weight is 160 kilo newton into cl minus 3 into cd naught what is the cd naught check 0 0.014 0 0.014 is equal to 0. 
So if you perform this, do this coordinating equation, solve it if possible for you, 27 divided by 160. So it is 0 0.168 CL minus 3 into 0 0.014. It is 0 point, 0 point. If you solve this coordinating equation, so CL you may get. Put this data in calculator. So this is the coordinating equation. So maybe one CL value you may get very large value, one very small. So small value will be CL value, large means what? If you say CL is 10, 20, 30, so that is not acceptable. Huh? If you say CL is negative, that is also not acceptable. CL value, it is like approximate 0 0.1, 2, 3, 0 0.4, 0 0.6, 0.7. In fact, one also if you are getting 1.2, 1.4, something like this, no? reasonable value, 0 0.5, 0 0.6, that is the reasonable value, so that you can take, because this is the coordinating equation, so CL you may get, so here I am getting two value, one I am getting 0 0.232, another I am getting CL, put in calculator directly, it is uh, minus 3.6, no? approximately. So this is not acceptable, this is acceptable. Hope you understood this. Once you got this CL, so CD from drag polar you can calculate. What is the CD now? CD is what? 0 0.014 plus K 0 0.05. CL you have 0 0.232. Huh? Okay, I'll perform this. So what value you may get? CD approximate value with 0 0.014 plus 0 0.05 plus 0 0.232 whole square. This is I am getting, you can cross check this, 0 0.016 I am getting, okay. This is the value of CD. Done. Now, in the question they are saying, corresponding flight is speed, okay, and uh, so, whatever the value of CL you got, this is the corresponding value for what? For maximum, for maximum climbing velocity, for maximum climbing velocity or maximum climbing speed no? or maximum rate of climb, this is the condition. This condition is what? For maximum rate of climb, I told you here, where it is, yeah, this one. This is for maximum rate of climb, check this condition. No? So from here, whatever the CL you are getting, this CL is very special. This is CL is what for what? This CL is for VC max condition. Huh? So now this CL what you have calculated here, uh, 0.23. This at this CL, your aircraft will have a uh, velocity at maximum uh, climbing speed. So what is the velocity at maximum climbing speed? Now you can calculate. The velocity of the aircraft at maximum climbing speed you can say 2 w divided by rho s cl now if you keep this value cl value what cl value 0 0.232 so that whatever the velocity here you may get that will be the at maximum climbing speed okay rho 1.22 s 42 meter square cl you got 0.232 0.2 okay if you calculate this so this is the flight speed but this is not normal speed this is the flight speed at maximum climbing speed okay so it is nothing but 2 160 10 to the power 3 divided by 1.22 divided by 42 divided by 0 0.232 root how much? It's 164 approximate, no? 164 I am getting. You please calculate, no? Decimal point also there, but I have neglected. You can calculate. So this is the speed. Now, corresponding flight speed you have calculated. Corresponding angle of climb also we have to calculate, and maximum rate of climb obviously we have to calculate that. So that will do. Uh, 164. Okay, no problem. That. Uh, 
approximation whatever i am writing this is the approximate value i mean calculated but decimal part i have neglected 164.06 yes that is correct now so <coughs> this is the one thing now if you want to calculate what is the maximum climbing angle so what you will do simple now you will write the formula what is the formula here we have we have to write the maximum not maximum we can write uh, we can write for climbing angle at at maximum climbing speed na huh? so what will be the sin theta you know the formula ta minus d divided by w okay so whatever the w uh, d here you will calculate drag what is the drag formula you know see formula i am directly writing uh, directly here writing because i am now assuming like you have remembered the formula so no need to turn page again and again okay so this is what 160 tend power 3 and whatever the cd here you have calculated this value of cd this cd is for what this is for maximum rate of climbing or what maximum climbing speed this is nothing but 0.0166 0.0166 divided by cl you have calculated 0.232 0.0166 So if you calculate this drag, what we'll get? One six ten to power three multiplied by zero point zero one six six divided by zero point two three two. It is how much? Eleven point four four eight kilonewton approximate. Eleven point four four. I think. Ah, uh, okay, fine. Kilonewton. No, this is the value. So what is the sine theta? T A minus D divided by W. It is nothing but first twenty seven kilo newton ten power three minus eleven point four four eight ten power three divided by. So you may get check this value twenty seven minus eleven point four four eight divided by. 160 approximate 0.0972 what is the theta then take inverse of it take inverse of the answer it is 5.5 5.57 remember this is the this is the climbing angle at at maximum maximum climbing speed okay now finally you are going to calculate maximum rate of climb up to here it is clear i think there should not be any doubt now and uh, now you are going to calculate maximum rate of climb if you check first question was maximum rate of climb they said no calculate maximum rate of climb estimate see first question was to calculate maximum rate of climb so that will be calculating in last because before you should know every data like theta and everything so what is the rate of climb we see what is the formula v infinity sin theta how it comes from velocity triangle i told you yes or no this vertical component is what we see this is what theta this is what v infinity so what is the we see v infinity sin theta what is the v infinity just now you have calculated how much How much you have calculated? So one sixty four approximately. One sixty four. What is the sine theta you have calculated? It is point nine seven point zero nine seven two. Point zero nine seven. If you do this, V C is what max. This is the maximum rate of climb. So this is nothing but. 
164 into 0.0972 so it is approximate 15.94 meter per second so this vertical uh, this velocity which is nothing but climbing speed approximate 15.94 or someone is what getting like uh, 16 also it's okay so <coughs> today what i have explained yeah today whatever i have explained this is was very very important many things i explained today i think it was long class but no problem so <clears throat> do your best do hard work always you know, practice well okay thank you thank you so much still